sporting events. There are these um, devices here that can really help save someone's life in the event of an emergency, but really only if you know how to use it. So. Let's find out now. Um, to here to show us the basics is Lauren Perales from Baylor Sports Care. Yes, ma'am. And Lauren, you're going to show us how to use these these devices. And are are they? I've seen them places, but mm -hmm. is it easy to just snatch it up? It is. Yeah. Usually, you just open the case that it's held in uh -huh. and just pull it right out the wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So once we pull it out of the wall, what do we do? Once you pull it out of the wall, first thing most important is to go ahead and send somebody to call 911 while you're preparing the person to use the AED. That's the most important and, thing. Okay. So let me back up for a second. How do you know when you need to use one? Is right. it someone's passed out? They've someone's laying lifeless like this? Yes, exactly. If someone, if <laughs> you, you see a lifeless torso <laughs> in front of you, exactly, That's fine. exactly. You see Are a lifeless okay? torso. Yes, exactly. Right. If you think you need to perform CPR on somebody, then you also need to have an AED there as well. So it kind of goes in conjunction with one another. Can you use this without knowing CPR? You if can. You don't, if you're not doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth or, or chest compressions, mm -hmm. you can use this. Yes. Okay, so we've got our victim. We get this out. What Absolutely. Do we do so what you're going to do is you're going to open the AED just like this, and then you'll pull out the pads. Uh-huh. Okay, make sure you turn the AED on. That'll help. That okay. helps. <laughs> and it actually will walk you through exactly what to do. So every AED talks to you oh, and tells you exactly great, what to I'd do. Because I'd be panicked. Yes. So right now it actually says on here, it says connect electrodes. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to open the package, go ahead and pull them out. And each electrode actually tells you where to place the sticker. So oh. it helps. Okay. There's a left okay. and a right There's side. There's a left and a right side, okay. yeah. And it tells you, so like we're going to go ahead and connect the electrodes. How, how bad electrode. does it screw it up if you put them on the wrong That's side? That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> I don't think oh, it's... Because I'm thinking if I'm panicking, I might put them it on the really, wrong side. It really doesn't matter too much as okay. long as you have them in the correct spot. So okay. it doesn't matter which electrode it is as long as it's in the right spot. So you're going to go ahead and... This one has the picture to put uh -huh. it on the chest right here. So okay. we're going to go ahead and put it there. And you said that it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, you you use, you use it the same way. That's correct. Okay, so do you, if it's a woman, I have to ask, do, do you, you take, take her the bra? Off. Yes, you do. You're gonna usually every AED is equipped with a razor mm -hmm. as well as scissors. So you're gonna cut the clothes off, and if they have hair on their chest, go ahead and shave the hair. Oh, off you as need to shave it. Possible. Do we have time you, have this? To, you do. <laughs> okay. You, you got to work fast, people. I, would I think so. I can shave my legs yeah, in about real 10 quick. seconds. Real quick. Real quick. Some it doesn't, doesn't need a longer shave. That right. Might be well, a it problem. doesn't have to be the whole chest. Just where you're gonna place the okay. electrodes, because there has to be good contact between the skin and the okay. electrodes. Okay. 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 So the positioning, I would not have thought to put it over there. So yes. here and there. Okay. It's so it can get a good current through the heart. Gotcha. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and push analyze because that's what it's telling us to do. Stand and it will clear. tell you to stand clear. That way you don't Analyzing get shocked now. by touching the person when stand they get shocked. Oh. oh, it does the work. It's it does the work for you. Advised. So it tells us there's a shock advised. It's going to make this noise because it's charging up. Uh -huh. And then once it's finished, oh. it'll tell you to stand clear again and push the button to shock. Oh. So we'll go ahead and push the shock. It shocks the person, yeah, and at this point, it already did it. It did it. You'd see, you'll you'd see the see jolt. Them okay. Yes, that's correct. So it said start CPR. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and start chest compressions again. If you're doing CPR, what if you don't know CPR? What if you're just like walking in the mall and you're like, oh my god. They there's you, usually you somebody. This right, now. exactly. Um, there's usually somebody who probably does know CPR, but if you don't, the most important part is doing chest compressions. Right. So all you have to do is get down and do your chest compressions. It's not necessarily about the rescue breathing at this point. You just want to keep some movement going. I've heard that going. something is, is better than nothing if you're nervous about, oh, I'm not sure what to do. It's yeah. better to do something that's than That's exactly nothing. right. There, can Obviously. you give us a basic for chest compressions? I know that's not what the segment is about, but is it? are you supposed to count a certain number? It's usually 30. Okay. 30 chest compressions. And then um, a breath, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can just, as long as you're doing chest compressions, yeah. they've kind of found that that's the most important part okay. so far. Okay. So are, do you just shock once? <laughs> you shock once, and then it will count down for two minutes while you're doing chest compressions, and then it will analyze again. See so it's, it's doing, doing that now. So it's, it's doing that now. It's yeah, yes. okay. So until you hear it talk to you again, you keep doing yeah, your keep chest doing compressions. Yeah, keep doing your stuff. I feel like this is going to save someone's life. I feel so much the, better. At the mall or, okay. or, the, or a stadium. Yeah, or and it's mm -hmm. so easy. And we're actually going to be out at different football games. Baylor is in um, on the first Friday of the month. We're going to be in um, Grapevine, in Carrollton, and in... Um, oh... 
We have it on one other website. spot. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be out there doing AED demonstrations. Okay. Um, so everybody Thank can kind of learn. That's well, awesome. this was this was a great demonstration, and I know all of us are a little smarter now. Yeah, yeah little little absolutely. Thank okay, you. to learn more about the AEDs, just head to dthebroadcast.tv, click on today's links, and we've got all the information there. Okay, up next, an extra special recipe perfect for families on the go. This homemade peach tart. Yummy. It is healthy, and it is loved by everybody, and we're going to show you how to make it. Laduni is here. <laughs>